recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. Welcome to Lesson 10. In this lesson, we will cover a basic introduction to MIDI and how it is used in Pro Tools. In order to operate MIDI in Pro Tools, you will need a keyboard controller or some other MIDI device to send note information to your Pro Tools MIDI tracks. In the Applications folder on your main hard drive, there is a Utilities folder, which contains a program called Audio MIDI Setup. As you can see in this demonstration, I'm using a Motu Fastlane USB, which is connected to an Oxygen 8. So the first thing we're going to do is create two tracks. We're going to create one mono instrument track, and we're going to create one stereo instrument track. The first track is going to be a click track, and the second one is going to be a piano. Hit Apple Plus and that will put you into the mix window. And we're going to scroll up to the top of the channel strip. In this gray section is where we will create an instance of click. So we'll go to Plugin, Instrument, and Click. You can also choose which sound you want for the click. We'll go with MPC Click. And for the soft synth I'm going to use for this demonstration, we're going to use Reason. And running in the background, I have a piano patch created in Reason ready to go. And we'll go ahead and raise the volume to zero on both of those instrument tracks. Going back to the edit window, we can adjust the tempo. For this demonstration, our tempo is going to be 100. Hitting the space bar, we can hear the click. And if we record enable the piano track, we should be able to hear that as well. And we'll go ahead and record. Going back to the mix window, we'll scroll up to the top. At the very top of the channel strip are our MIDI inputs and outputs. The Piano and Reason is an NNXT, so we'll go ahead and enable that. Going up to View, we can enable in the Edit window real-time properties. This will allow us to quantize what was just played. If we go to Quantize and enter in a value of an eighth note, now it will tighten up that section to the nearest eighth note value. We can also change the duration of each note. We can delay or advance the playback of the notes. And we can also change the velocity. And we can transpose the selection either by a certain amount of octaves or semitones, We also have the choice of different views. We have notes, velocity, volume, muting, pan, pitch bend, mono after touch, program change, sysx, and controllers. We can also view this in blocks or regions. Going into slip mode, if we want, we can also move notes around. And using the trim tool, we can also change the length of notes. We can also pick an individual note or section and change those values in the edit window. In this case, we want that first note to land right on the quarter note. Hit apply. And it should be dead on. Next, we can go to regions. And using the trim tool, we can shorten that region. So it starts right on bar two. And if we want to repeat the region, we can just grab it and put it in a bar 6. So now we have two sections that are identical. We can pick two notes, and dragging them down a whole step, it'll change the melody.
And this concludes Lesson 10.